young people here are doing their degrees. They're doing medicine, they're doing engineering, they're doing accounting, and one student says, I'm going to study history. And their parents say, what? What are you going to do with history? Well, who's going to give you a job? Where are you going to, where are you going to go to work? You know, where are you going to get employed? History doesn't pay the bills. Don't study history. So we took our smartest kids, our smartest men and women, and we made them doctors. We made them engineers. We made them programmers. We made them architects. And we did not care to make them what? Historians, political scientists, sociologists, anthropologists, psychologists. No. And you know what? As a nation, we decided an entire generation of people should just be workers. We're just workers. I mean, a, a, a doctor, I, with all due respect to doctors, is skilled labor. It's labor. You're a laborer. You're specialized, but you're still laboring. And that architect is still a laborer at work in a specialized field. Who's doing the thinking on behalf of this ummah? Who's thinking on behalf of this ummah? Who's restoring our identity as an ummah? The best of our minds are not being used. Because they're too busy doing other things. I want you to study this and study that. And, and you know, the sad thing is if you ask, why are you studying this? Why are you in this career? You know what the answer is most of the time? Number one answer, my parents told me. Number two answer, it's a good job. That's it. So the only legacy we're leaving for our next generation is the most important thing in your life is looking for a good job. Looking for, I'm not saying, I'm not against getting a good job. By the way, get a good job. I'm all for it. But you know what? The, the world needs more than just people that make money. And one or two careers. You know, I would argue if, if I had it my way, historians would be, and historians and theologians and, you know, people that are studying psychology and sociology, they would be the highest paid professors. They'd be the highest paid researchers, in my opinion. Because they're the people who impact how society operates. You know, they give direction to society. And if they have an Islamic mindset, man, they can bring a lot of good to the world. So even if so the young people here that are studying, while you're studying accounting, mashallah, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun, on the side, take as many history courses as you can. Learn as much about other things as you can. Things that actually, you know, make you a refined human being, a deeper thinker. You know, learn sociology. It's an important subject. There's a lot of sociology in the Qur'an. There's a lot of psychology in the Qur'an. There's a lot of political science in the Qur'an. And somebody says, no, 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 but I want to study, I want to be a doctor because there's embryology in the Qur'an. <laughs> uh, yeah, in like one or two ayat, there's some reference to it, but that's it's not the, at the heart of it. At the heart of it is human engagement, you know? So these humanities, they are important and we have to restore them from the Islamic perspective. This is a, this is a critical thing. And of course, history is at the center of that.